charged the affairs U.S. Embassy in Bangladesh to deliver convocation speech. Ladies and gentlemen, the convocation speaker. Thank you so much for that incredible greeting. Upostit shobuke, assalamu alaikum, med bon, shubo, shuka. Wait, there's more. Ami <laughs> Eastern University, shusto, shoma borton, onustane, ashte tere, shoma nito, borton chi. Still a little bit more. Aflader shobar gorbito, ebon, atto bishashi, muk gulu, deke ami atanto, anondito. Honorable Deputy Minister, Vice Chancellor, Chairman of the Board, uh, Chairman of the University Grants Commission, Board members, trustees, uh, deans, faculty, students, parents, students, honored guests all, I am absolutely delighted and honored to be here with you today as part of this convocation. My warmest congratulations to each and every one of you. <laughs> Graduates, you have done a remarkable thing. For several years now, you've made good on a profound commitment to, to focus, to work hard day after day, to participate, to learn, to innovate, to meet deadlines. And you should be very, very proud. This new knowledge that you've acquired, these insights that you've discovered, and these insights are not just about what you've been studying, but they're insights about yourselves as well. They're very powerful, and they will shape the rest of your life. And that means that together, collectively, you can shape the life of your country. And that's pretty heady stuff, right? Think about it. The choices you make now shape not only your lives, but the lives of Bangladesh and the region, and maybe the rest of the world. With um, a few examples, with a, a degree in business, you can train others in the workforce, or you can start a new business. You can create jobs that change the lives of others. Uh, your legal studies degree, this means you have the power now, you have the skills to help strengthen and enforce the laws. For example, to protect the safety of workers. And that means you can save lives. You can be part of a force that ensures that justice is one of the deepest, most profound, most promoted values in the country. Your computer science degree, this opens the door to ensure, for example, the financial integrity of government and business through strong digital technologies. You will ensure that people remain connected freely exchanging ideas and opinions. And to you engineers, from ensuring the physical integrity of buildings that are threatened, for example, by earthquakes, to designing bridges or sewer systems, or figuring out how we can all adapt to climate change, the doors of choice for you and the doors of contributions are wide open. Because most importantly, you, have equipped yourselves to contribute, to give back. The world isn't always an easy place to live in, but you, right now, are living in tremendously interesting times in a tremendously dynamic country. Bangladesh is on the cusp of becoming a lower middle income country, and that's a remarkable success story. So my question for each one of you now is what will you do to contribute to that success? And as you think about that, I'd ask you to keep a few things in mind. First, in many important ways, you are now role models for many, many young people. Many young people who are trying to make choices about their own life paths. Please take this role model role seriously. Use your choices to inspire others. 
And inspiring others doesn't mean you have to save the entire world, that you are only accomplished if you do things on a grand scale. By all means, do something on a grand scale, a scale if that's what you wish, but please remember this. One of the biggest, most important signs of success, genuine success, is that you guard your own integrity. Next, and while I'm speaking to the men and the women here, this, but um, I'm a little skeptical of the traditional concept of empowerment because if I empower you, who's really got the power? Rather, I would encourage you to recognize, to develop, and exercise your own power. And in coming this far in your lives already, by gaining your degrees, by showing you have what it takes, you've already shown you can do exactly that. And I hope you will remember that you have your own power, you can develop, you can exercise, as you meet the inevitable challenges that come with being a responsible adult.